I usually don't. Yeah. The graphic, the, like the graphic, don't on like, like on the. Uh, Damn, look at the screen. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's like Hawaii. Yeah, I mean, that's man. That's what I'm gonna say. Y'all think we in Boulder? We in Hawaii? That's Just right. kidding. That's what Boulder <laughs> look like. See. Come on. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, to season two, episode two of the Whistle. And we starting this thing off right, right now. You think we in Boulder, don't you? You see the mountains back there? We are in Hawaii. Hawaii 5 0 right here, baby. Yeah, Hawaii 5 0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach, they can see the word Colorado back there. Oh, what? Oh, oh. oh there. Right, well, <laughs> Colorado looks like Hawaii. That's right. All right. Look at this beautiful scenery it's we got here, man. Beautiful out this here. This is what we come to work to every day, Coach. It is. Every day we come to work here. You know? I, I think we told them once before. We just want to remind you guys for all you other states out there, okay, that have sunshine, you're calling yourself the Sunshine State, you are incorrect. We have that found out that Colorado is indeed, factually, the sunshine state. Is That's that right? correct. Absolutely. And look at these beautiful blue skies. And, mm. you know, on that, on that note here, you know, uh, we had our kickoff banquet the other day. Great crowd came to the IPL. Yeah. Uh, got, to, got to meet a bunch of fans and see the excitement. And uh, one fan came up to me, and uh, she gave me a little bit of trivia mm. about uh, CU Boulder that I didn't know about. You know, what she, she, tell you? she told me that the official colors of the University of Colorado are actually gold and silver. Um, I heard that. I back heard in that. 1888, yeah. uh, due to the, the gold and silver that was in the, in the, uh, um, the mountains. mountains and everything. Yep. Yep. And then also, uh, of course, like every school, they go through some changes throughout the time. And uh, in the early 80s, due to these beautiful blue skies, uh, Colorado was actually uh, sky blue and um, gold. Their uniforms. I, I actually never looked, knew that. I actually looked it up, and, and sure enough, they were blue they've and got gold. blue and gold uniforms. Looks kind of like UCLA. Uh, but mm. uh, and then in the late '80s, they they kind of settled on the black and gold that they got today. But the official colors are gold and silver. I did not know that. Always bet on black. That's right. Always been on black. Can't can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. That's right. Once you go black, winning. you never go back. I think they started winning a whole lot when they bet on black. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. I, think I was tuning in at that point. That's you exactly know. right. You yeah. had yeah. Uh, B Enemy and Hagen. Hagen. Westbrook. Westbrook. Yes, uh, right. That's right. That's when they won uh, the national yeah. championship. Cordell That's Stewart. Right. Cordell. The Slash. That's right. Come on now. Hey, Slash. Big fan. I know you're a big whistle fan, baby, because you you always hitting us up, hitting that like button. I see you, Slash. I'm talking I about always it. Always know. We know we gonna root for you, baby. That's you on exactly our team right. now. Come That's on back exactly and help right. us coach these guys again, man. We enjoyed you when you was here. Well, you know we had a lot of celebrity football players come through, right? Oh man, we've man, had we've had, uh, we've had T.O. T.O.'s been here. Terrell Owens for those. Yes, who sir. Yes, think sir. Soccer. We're That's talking right. about American football. <laughs> That's right. T.O. Uh, uh, Russ. Uh, 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 Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp's here. Right Warren now. Sapp's yep. here yep. right now. And of course, hey, the other day, other day made my day because you know I'm a big Cowboys fan. Even though I was not born and raised in Dallas, like my, my, my partner over here is a, a Dallas resident. Thank you. But I uh, uh, had Michael Irvin, the playmaker. Michael Irvin, dude. Boy, when the playmaker showed up, that just got a little extra pep in it my did, step. Man. I ain't going to lie did, to you, man. man. And the speech he gave the Ooh, team. Ooh, what you talking about? You had to be there. He put it on, folks. I'm talking about he it. He put it on. Elevated me. Elev got us ready. Got us ready to go. In the right right, right yep. when fall camp getting ready in. Yes, sir. Fall camp got ready in. We got a little Michael Irvin. And then we got in here to this week, and, and then Big Warren Sapp shows up, and yeah. he got the D-line rolling. And, uh, you know, it's just it, – you, you can't never tell with Prime who's going to show up. No, you don't you know. You just can't never tell, you man. You don't so know. It's, it's always exciting. You always, have to, you always have to be on your toes around here. You do. You know? Ready but, to go. Uh, you know, the last episode, guys, we talked about movies um, from Colorado, and I read a lot of, lot of great um, comments – you know, one movie that filmed in Colorado I did not know that's a, a pretty popular movie. I've never seen it because I'm, I'm not a big horror movie guy. But I love the, horror movies. But The Shining was actually oh, that's, here. Do the, you know the hotel is still open? That's, and you can yeah. go there and you can that's stay there? That's what I was there. told. I want to go. Yeah. Me, I just want to know, for those people that like me, like horror movies, I think horror movies are really comedies. They I are mean, funny. I mean, I, I, I have, funny. I've watched Friday the 13th. I've watched The Screams. I've watched Nightmare on Elm Street and everything. I've watched all of them, but it, 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 they're normally not my first choice. But I, but you know what? I'm gonna have to watch The Shining 
now that I know that it's been filmed here. is a classic, man. Absolutely. Jack, Jack Nicholas. I will eat Rocky Mountain oysters before I stay in that hotel. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Why, now, dude? Man, a, I ain't staying in that hotel. It was right? a movie, man. It's yeah. not even real. That's right. It's not really yeah, haunted. That's right. It might That's be right. based on a true story. That's I right. Know. I don't know movies are based on true stories, though. That's kind of well, true. It I, I tell you what, that since, uh, since we did be. movies last time, I decided to look into some TV shows that are based here in Colorado. Oh, sweet. Came up with some very interesting ones. Now, I know you got to be in my generation to, to, to remember this one, but back from 81 to 89, they, they had primetime soap operas. And, of course, oh, Dallas and Falcon Chris and all of them Yo. were real popular. Yo. But Dynasty... Was, that was based my here in Denver. Favorite, man. man, my grandmother and my Dynasty? mother. Yes, sir. The they Carringtons. watched the Carringtons. You know, you had uh, Linda Evans, Joan Collins. Uh, Is that the one where they were slapping each other all the time? Oh, all the time. All the time. John Forsyth was in I was there. I'm trying to tell you, man. I mean, you you just like that was must see TV. And and my I can guarantee you, my mama and my grandma were tuned in, and I sitting right there with them. <laughs> Ain't gonna Watching lie to it. you, you know. And then there was a, another. Uh, comedy from back in those days late 70s that's that's based here in boulder and actually the opening credits of this uh sitcom you can see them flying a kite in front of the flat irons which you can see behind us and you can also see them walking down pearl street here in boulder so a lot of the scenes are here and it's uh mork and mindy you know Mork and Mindy. Was, I, didn't, I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't yeah. even think you were gonna say that. The, the yeah. Spaceship was an A. Yeah, spaceship and it was, was here an in Colorado. Yeah, here in Colorado was where I it was based. Why did I think it was like San yeah. Francisco. That's right. That's right. And then um, more recently, Why more recently, we've had. Um, uh, uh, I think it just. Uh, it's been going on for like ten years. It just. It just got canceled. Last Man Standing, starring Tim Allen, takes place here in Denver. You know, he's an outdoors guy. I never watched that one. Yeah, it, it, yeah you, you probably wouldn't watch that. I probably wouldn't <laughs> yeah, watch that. You probably wouldn't watch that one. I ain't but watched anyway, that. it's a sitcom comedy that's placed here in Denver. And then, of course, if you've got Netflix, uh, you've probably seen The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher and um, Sam Elliott. Very, very funny sitcom that's on the Netflix. But the last but not least, the OG mo uh, TV series that's placed here in Colorado is South, South Park. Okay. South Park okay. with over 350 episodes. I can see that. You know, as a matter that. of fact, there's a, a Mexican restaurant, Casa Bonita, that has become somewhat of a tourist attraction because of South Park. Casa Bonita? Yeah, Casa Bonita. Is it on Pearl Street? In no, Boulder? no, it's, it's, uh, it's down um, south of Denver. Down, down south, south of Denver. Denver. Yeah, or, or, or uh, I think close to Arvada or something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, it's supposed to be a, uh, I may be wrong about the location, but I know it's in this area. And, uh, but yeah, South Park and, and it, you know, we can't talk too much about South Park on, on here because they, they tackle stuff that we, we don't need to be talking about. But like what? <laughs> now one anything, thing everything. <laughs> one thing about South Park coaches, if they haven't offended you, just wait. Ain't no doubt. Because they give it to everybody. Ain't no, oh, hey, listen, it's like they, they, they trying to get kicked oh, off yeah. TV. They trying oh, yeah. to get canceled, oh, you know, yeah. and they can't get canceled. Yeah, no doubt. Everything. No doubt. But, yeah, those were interesting to find out that those five movies or TV shows that were based based here in Colorado, you know, I was very, very excited to find out that Dynasty was. That was, that was a surprise to me. That's good. But Because um, I forgot about that it was in this area and all. But so, yeah, you know, it's, it's always neat, neat to find out different things about the Boulder you know area. what I found out really is that looking at this stadium, I look at all the season ticket seats they done put out. Yes, man. sir. I'm yes, talking, sir. And they still going around here yes, putting sir. these extra seats in here and stuff like that. And hey, we coming, we are here, and we're ready to put on the show. No doubt. No we can't doubt. wait to see y'all pack this thing out for our home game and get things cracking. Absolutely. Oh, it's been a great, Absolutely. great fall camp. Hey, just so you know, we've been here from oh, about 5 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. oh, to yeah. about 10, 10 30 at night. Yeah. Getting, getting ready. it done. Getting it done. Coaches getting it done. It's game time, baby. Getting, getting, it is time. We show want time. to honor and impress and show out for you guys and give our maximum effort, man, because we love the hospitality here, how you treat us since we've gotten here. And we can't wait to return the favor and show That's you right. how hard we work That's and how right. much we want to win for Boulder, Colorado. Yep. All of Colorado. Well, I tell you what, uh, since our last episode, we've had a, we've had a couple of restaurants reach out to us and uh, want yeah. us to do some do some uh, shows there. So y'all come meet us, huh? Absolutely. Can we meet y'all? Can y'all come to the to restaurant we come to? 
I know one's going to be Pasta Jays. Absolutely. Yeah. Pasta Jays, yeah. he's, he's one of our guys. Yeah. And then, um, you know, last week on social media, there was a, 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 a little uh, place down in Louisville, Colorado, which is between here and Denver, that had they had put a, a mural up of Prime with We Coming on it. Okay. And I, ta I, I reposted it on my IG account. And uh, they've reached out. They want us to come as Mud Rocks down there in Louisville. So we're going to go to Mud man, Rocks and we're going to do a show. Rocks, and from what I understand now, I don't, I don't know for sure, but from what I understand, the, the owner of Mud Rocks is a former Buffalo. Okay. He's a former Buffalo. Hey, maybe we can get us a mirror. Ain't no doubt. We get us a mural too. Yeah. You know, it was in chalk, so they could probably erase that one and, and, and draw us a yeah. with, with our, with our gold whistles. With our gold you know? whistles. Ain't no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Prime got enough murals, man. Ain't no doubt. No doubt about that. That's right. That's right. He got a bus. Yeah. He's you know got saying? a bus. That's he right. He got a bus. He's, He's got a Hall of bus. Fame right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? And you know what the thing about it is? It, you know, oh, in, in only his fashion, that the way he could do it. Absolutely. You know, everybody else goes up there and they got their bus and, and they, they look at their bus and everything. He had to bring a little extra for his. That's right. You know, he brought a little extra, put a little do rag on top of it. I wonder if it's still hey, there. I, you know what? I think somebody I, took I, it off. I, I think somebody took I it off. I wonder. I wonder. I would have took it. That's a that's a auctioneer piece. You know what <laughs> ain't saying? no doubt. There ain't no doubt about that. I'm sure they yeah. got people guarding it though, like yeah, cameras that's and right. stuff. So that's you right. can't really get that's to right. it like that. I'm sure. Yep. I'm sure they got stuff like that. Yep. That's right. Well, coach, I tell you what, man, we're gonna have to wind down another episode of the whistle. What? We are uh, getting ready to uh, head to TCU later this week. We are. And, um, I got meetings. I need to get you to know, too. We got, a that's fact. right. That's right. We got meetings. Yeah. We got things we got to do. But hey, folks. We glad that you guys are glad that we're back. Got a lot of positive comments about how they how they miss us. We're gonna be here every week, putting a new, a new episode together with our man Uncle Neely, and we just want to know one thing: since we coming, we want to know: Are you coming? I know for sure y'all coming. If y'all don't come, I'm telling you right now, the whistle. We're gonna blow the whistle. It's gonna be a personal foul. It's gonna be a personal foul. Fifteen yard penalty on the fans, Colorado. <laughs> Not showing up to the game. Coach Prime already said, when we got first home game, of course, we play in Nebraska, that we don't want any red, right? That's the rule, right? That's no, no red. red. No so let's red. make sure we got our black and gold on. That's right. Our silver and gold Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Hey, if you want to go retro and throw that thing back and put that blue and gold on. It's blue and gold, right, Coach? Sky blue and gold. Sky blue and gold on. Just to show that retro, we at the whistle going to know what you're talking about. That's exactly right. We're going to know you're a we true fan. exactly what you're talking we, about. We're going to set them straight now, right here yes, on sir. the whistle. You heard yes, it here first.